68 says, if you become conscious of me, and you will pass all the obstacles of condition by my grace. If, however, you do not work in such consciousness, but act through false ego, not hearing me, hearing me, you will be lost. So again, Krishna is emphasizing here in the final concluding chapter of Bhagavad Gita in 18th chapter, in text 58, is saying that if you are conscious of me and you understand me, then all obstacles you will cross without any anxiety. But if you are uh, working on your own strength, your own false ego, that I can do everything, then Krishna says you will be lost because you will never get anything because you won't be able to do anything. In, in fact, but in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, I am the ability in man. So whatever ability we have is coming from him. Whatever intelligence we have is coming from him. So what are we so proud of? This false, false ego is what is driving us completely mad. Next thing. So the person in full Krishna consciousness is not unduly anxious about executing the duties of his existence. The foolish cannot understand this great freedom from all the anxieties. For one who is one who acts in Krishna consciousness, Lord Krishna becomes the most intimate friend. He always looks after uh, he always looks after his friend's comfort. So this is why Krishna is saying that if you are, if you are always with me and uh, you know you are Krishna conscious and you are a very intimate friend of me, then I'll take care of you. And this we all know the story of Sudama and uh, Lord Krishna in Dwarka. When Sudama went, and as soon as the gatekeeper told Krishna that there is this old, old Brahmana named Sudama, what did Krishna do? Without a second thought, he kept running out, the embrace, and all the residents of Dwarka were like, what is going on this Krishna? This is a poor Brahmana, why is he embracing? But he took him in and gave him so much honor and respect. So he's, he's saying that he looks after the comforts of his devotees, and this is the proof that all those who are uh, devotees in this Krishna conscious movement, they are taken care of very nicely. Of course, if we go with material expectation, then you will not be fulfilled. But all other comforts, Krishna will give you. Next please. And he gives himself to his friend, who is devoted, devotedly engaged, working 24 hours a day to please the Lord. Therefore, one should be, care, one should be carried away. Therefore, or no one should be carried away by the false ego of the bodily cause of life, one should not falsely think himself independent of the laws of material nature or free to act. He is already under strict material laws. So again, if we understand the Supreme Lord is master, is a controller, and we should not uh, work on the basis of our bodily concept, I and mine, I can do, I will do what I like, I am a free man. Of course, we are all free men in this country, but as soon as you break the law of this land, you are immediately punished. And this is where uh, Mr. Prabhupada is mentioning. You are under the strict material laws. So there is uh, the law of the land and there is the law of material nature. If you go against the law of material nature, nature will fight back. And we have experienced this many times. You know, so many upheavals coming. Right now, actually, we are going through this pandemic. It is actually because mankind has been going against nature, destroying so many forests, and performing so many sinful activities, killing cows and other animals, and so many things. So nature is saying, okay, I will balance, uh, bring a balance here, and pandemic has come. Next please. But as soon as he acts in Krishna consciousness, he is liberated, free from the material perplexity. One should note very carefully that one who is not active in Krishna consciousness is, is losing himself in the material, world, uh, material pool, in the ocean of uh, birth and death. So again, you know, if we are not focused properly and then we, we become lost in the material activities and as, as Prabhupada said, we, we become engrossed in the material pool and then finally when we are completely engrossed in the material pool and material existence, what is our destiny? Birth and death will surely come. In the Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, Janma, Mrutya, Jara, Janma is there, and Murti is there. And in between Janma and Murti, birth and death, there is Jara, old age, and we are the uh, disease condition, which we are all experiencing. So, to be free from this, we have to take shelter of the Lord, and say, we, then we won't be lost in this material pool. Next, please. Mm -hmm. No conditioned soul 
actually knows what is to be done and what is not to be done. But the person who acts in Krishna consciousness is free to act because everything is prompted by Krishna from within. Is it prompted by Krishna from within and confirmed by the spiritual master? So of course, again, Bhagavad Gita Krishna is explaining that if you are doing the activities which are permitted by the Lord Himself, then Krishna will be pleased with those activities, and it is prompted by Krishna from the heart because it is in your heart. And then to emphasize this, that this is correct, then the spiritual master who is representing Krishna will also confirm this, and thereby we know that whatever activities we are performing, we are doing it in the right way. Next, please. Under the guidance of the spiritual guide, and the guidance of the spiritual guide, you can overcome this stress and be free. So of course, we have to take shelter of someone who knows the art of being free from stress. And the spiritualist, who is the spiritual master, he knows the art of Krishna consciousness, the science of Krishna consciousness, and therefore he can lead you out of these uh, misconceptions and free you from stress. Next, please. So of course, uh, we in Hare Krishna society, we are following Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then his preceptors coming all the way down to the present day, his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivinoda Swami Prabhupada, who then took this message to the world and he has spread this Krishna consciousness all over the world and introduced everyone to the secrets of Bhagavad Gita and thereby bringing so much happiness to everyone and we find hundreds and thousands, maybe millions of them who are reading this Bhagavad Gita and coming to Krishna Consciousness and be free from the material misconceptions. Next please. So in the, okay, next please. In the 63rd chapter, uh, text, says, Thus, I will explain to you the knowledge still more confidential. Deliberate on this fully and then do what you wish. So Krishna is finally telling Arjuna that I have given you the most confidential knowledge. But I will not force you to act upon that. I will let you deliberate. You deliberate on this subject. You think very carefully. I have given you the most confidential knowledge. After you have deliberated on this, then you decide. So I have still given you free independence, free will, free choice. You decide. You go right or you go left. And whatever you want, I will follow. So Krishna is not imposing himself, but he's saying you deliberate. So we don't say the Supreme Lord will impose in His will on you, but He will guide us and then He will give us opportunity. And now that I have given you all the information, you decide what you want. And if you decide to follow my path, then I will take over the reins, as Arjuna's uh, reins were taken over by Krishna. And He guided him. And what was His guidance? He led, uh, led him to victory and success. Next please. Next. So, in the 7th chapter, text 14, saying that this divine energy of mind consisting of the three modes of material nature is difficult to overcome. But those who are surrendered unto me can easily cross beyond it. So again, of Krishna is saying that in the material world, I have got the empowerment to the three modes. Mode of goodness, mode of passion and mode of ignorance. These are three prominent modes in the material world. And as long as you are in the material world, then there will be some influence upon us by the three modes of material nature. But if we, have, if we transcend above that, that's why Krishna says to Arjuna, Oh Arjuna, transcend the three modes of material nature and come on a pure platform of pure goodness. So if you come on a pure goodness, then you have a reason. So just like uh, uh, example is given the analogy of a duck. When a duck enters into the water pool and swims all around, and then it comes out, it is still dry. It is not fully soaked with water. Although it can immerse itself into the water, but when it comes up, it is dry. So similarly, when we transcend the three modes of material nature, we will be in the material world, but we won't be touched by it, because we will get the protection of the Supreme Lord. Next. So we recommend that you try the Maha Mantra meditation. I say this meditation is also a medication, because this is very powerful uh, a mantra which brings about a great change of heart and higher understanding of the uh, you know the transcendental knowledge which ordinarily is very difficult to conceive. So chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. This will bring you to the platform of happiness 
and then you become stress free next please okay so in the final in the conclusion of what it means what krishna is saying in the 18th chapter abandon all varieties of religion just surrender unto me i shall deliver you from all sinful reaction of course the word is translated religion here but in sanskrit it says sarva dharma dharma means not religion the dharma means your occupation and and, it, and to clarify this because of course there is no word for dharma in english language so nearest you can come to dharma is religion the sri prabhupada gives a further explanation saying the dharma of fire is to burn dharma of water is to make things wet and dharma of you and me is to serve the lord so that is our dharma so we give up all other things which we are doing and we come to come to the real platform of dharma that is to serve the lord we come to recognize our position that we are servant eternally of krishna and therefore we serve him and when we serve krishna of course krishna serves you and then if you do that it just says i shall deliver you from all sinful reactions next please So we have to take shelter of the supreme personality of God, and see Krishna. So those who are uh, fortunate enough to understand the signs of Bhagavad Gita will actually appreciate Krishna and take shelter of Krishna. And here is a beautiful uh, darshan of Sri Sri Radha Samsundar Lalita Vishaka from our temple in Vrindavan. If we take shelter of Krishna, as Krishna says in the 18th chapter, "Sarva dharma parijita mama ekam." Take my shelter alone. Aham tam sarva pape vi. I'll free you from everything. So on this I will conclude my talk. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Last slide. So again I am emphasizing with the humility. Please chant Hare Krishna mantra. Next. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you all. Hare Krishna. Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan. Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan. Oh Jaya.